Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and I'm the Senior Education Content and Training Manager here at Sphero. And today I'm working from home like many of you working or going to school at home. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about little bits. And I wanted to talk to you about how they work. So many of you know how they snap together and you're able to create all these amazing inventions either at school or at home, but how do they actually work? So let's get started by learning about a circuit. So let's talk about circuits. You've probably heard the word circuit before. You've probably heard the word voltage or volt as well. And we're gonna talk about that and how it all works together. So typically a circuit is going to start with some sort of power source. And that power source oftentimes is rated in volts or voltage. So let's say we have a nine volt battery here. And what voltage means, it's the electrical potential that a battery or a power source has. And in most cases, the flow of electricity is gonna start on the positive side and work its way to or through something that's going to do work. And so in this case, let's pretend we have a light bulb here, okay? And once that electricity hits that light bulb, it gets powered on and lights up. And then after it's gone through the light bulb, it will return to the voltage source, which in this case is a nine volt battery, through the negative side, thus completing a circuit. So now let's learn how we can take an actual voltage source, like a nine volt battery, and help this LED bit do some work. Each power bit allows for up to five volts to travel through a circuit when using little bits. In this case, we're powering this circuit with a nine volt battery. So if you do the math, that is just a little bit more than half of the actual potential that the nine volt battery has. So very safe. So if we look back at the drawing that we just went through, you can see that we use a light and a power source. When we connect the two bits, you see that the current's able to flow through the power bit into the light bit and back into the power bit completing that circuit and thus lighting up that LED light. But what happens if something is to disrupt that current? Meaning it gets in the way, it impedes it from making it to whatever needs to be doing work. And in this case, this LED bit. So let's add a simple button to the circuit. And now when I snap them together, you can see that the LED light is not lighting up because this button is impeding or disrupting that circuit from happening. But when I press on the button, it allows for that current or flow of electricity to make its way to the light and back to the battery. And if I let go of the button, that disruption occurs again, blocking or stopping that current from flowing through the LED light. And did you know, if you're not familiar with little bits, there are other types of inputs that you can add that actually allow you to regulate or modulate the amount of power that's coming from your voltage source into the circuit and helping do the work of your output. So in this case, when it's the slide dimmer is all the way to the left, there's no power or no electricity flowing in this circuit. But as I begin to slide this over, keep your eye on the LED and you'll see it slowly get brighter and brighter and brighter until it's allowed to receive 100% of that electrical current. All right, there you have it. Simple circuits with little bits. So remember, it always starts with that voltage source and that current flowing through something that needs to do work. And in this case today, we used an LED light. And we can't wait to see all the many inventions that you all come up with at home and at school. And we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks in our next episode. So remember, if you have any ideas for new videos that you would like to see or any comments that you would like to leave us, Check us out on Twitter, at Sphero, and we will see you very soon. Bye, everyone.